Hello, future health guys. So a lot of you have been asking me about how to approach the supplementary application questions. So I thought I should make a quick video that will really help you in gauging how to answer the three questions in the supplementary. So for those of you who don't know, McMaster Bachelor of Health Sciences program or the BHSE program has an additional supplementary application that you have to submit. This supplementary application has three questions that you have to answer in 1,500 characters or less. Something different that they're doing this year, which I really like, is that they've given you option A or B for questions one and two. So you actually you can actually choose which questions you want to answer. I really like that. One thing I would like to really tell you first is please take this supplementary application seriously. A lot of the people write it last minute and it really shows. I've I've marked a lot of applications in the past and I've really I can really see through those who have taken a month to write it versus those who have really written it the last the last night or the day before. So please take it seriously. Grades are important and if you've gotten that 90% over, good job. But grades alone will not get you into the health sciences program. After you hit that 90% average and after you have taken all the prerequisites, they really, really look at your supplementary application. It's marked by many different people and so please take it seriously and start working on it right now. So there are eight ways that I personally made sure I stood out in the supplementary application a few years ago. So I just wanted to share those with you. The first one, super simple, please answer the question. Although it sounds very trivial, I've read a lot of supplementary applications and people really forget to answer the question. Just as an example, just as an example, if the question is asking you what word you would take out from the dictionary, Actually write the word that you would take out. Don't go on about how important dictionaries are in your life and how they help you, you know? Just really try and answer the question. The second thing is be as descriptive as possible. Instead of writing, I led this organization and this demonstrates my collaboration skills, actually write a story Paint a story about how you led that organization and what that taught you and how you impacted others. Really show what you have done. Don't just tell them. Just really write descriptively and use those words that show and paint a story about you and your achievements. Thirdly, include a lot of personal examples. So BHSC uh, the Bachelor of Health Sciences program at McMaster University is not asking you for your resume. It's only going to decide if you get in or not based on your grades and the three questions in the supplementary applications. These three questions are the only way you can show them who you are, what is important to you, and how you would perfectly fit into the program. The way, the way to go about it is by using as many personal examples as possible. For each question, talk about yourself. And really talk about yourself. For question one and two, choose the options. You know how you're given two options? Choose the options that really reflect who you are. If you're a musical person, choose the music question. Don't choose the other one. So really talk about yourself and make sure each question is, a, is reworded in asking about yourself. And make sure you write as many personal examples as possible. The fourth thing is be unique. Say what no one else would say. And one way of doing it is by using personal examples because what's important to you is only important to you. No one else is going to write about it. So that's one way of being unique. The second way of being unique is experimenting with other styles of writing. For example, if you think one question can be answered in a way that you will be writing an article to a newspaper, then try that style. If you want to use scientific fiction, do that. Avoid poetry though. Don't don't write poems just because it can be misinterpreted and the lines and all that line breaks can be screwed up in the application. So try and stay away from poetry, but experiment with other genres. Uh, for example, I personally uh, took an approach where I wrote about Greek mythology in one of the questions and I really thought that it made me stand out and it really reflected what I have been doing and what I have been reading in the past years. So be very unique. There is no right answer, but there is definitely a creative answer. Think, uh, the fourth thing is think critically about answers. Choose an answer and explain 
explicitly state your reasoning, especially about question three. You may think that there is a very clear answer and everyone's going to pick that. So stay away from it and try and choose something else. Try to choose a different approach and try and explain your reasoning, reasoning behind why exactly you think one school deserves the funding versus other. Um, in addition to critical thinking, health science is, a very much, is very much based on working in groups. So bring that point up wherever you can. If you've worked in a group before, try and put that in in your answers. Um, if you're asked to make a decision in one of the questions, try and see if you can uh, try and put it or explicitly state that you will be asking help from other individuals, other schools, etc. For example, because no decision will be made by yourself only. You'll always be asking for help. You'll always be collaborating with other people. So try and mention group work as much as possible because health sciences is very much based on groups, group work and teamwork. Um, rarely you'll ever find a course in health sciences program where you're not divided up into groups. So try and show your enthusiasm for group work and how much you want to learn, how much you've learned from it in, in your previous years and how much you're willing to learn from it in the upcoming years. Um, number seven and eight are very simple, um, simple tips. For seventh is sim use simple and mature language. Don't try to complicate your answers and don't try to use convoluted language because it's not going to help anyone. It's only going to confuse your readers. Be simple, be creative, and be very to the point. By using mature language, what I mean is avoid using slang and avoid using cliches. Just try to be yourself. Try and keep it very simple. Um, even have your supplementary read by some, um, you know, middle school students and see if they understand it. So just keep it very simple because you don't know what your reading level of your um, those is who, who are going to be reading your supplementary. So when I was using the Greek mythology, I made, I made sure that a person who has never heard of Greek mythology was able to understand the response. Uh, the last thing is use good grammar with any written submission. Just just make sure you're, you're using correct grammar and you're not really um, using wrong t verb tenses, for example. Uh, and that really comes with practice. So I know that uh, the deadline is nearing. Uh, and please don't write your essays on the last day because we really can tell. I could tell when I was reading the essays that this person has written it the last day and it just does not make sense. So make sure you give all three questions equal time and a good thought. Um, this is just um, a deadline, uh, sorry, a timeline that I personally used uh, when I was preparing for the three questions and submitting my supplementary. So I, I spent a week on question one, the next week on question two, and the third week on question three. And I used about two to three weeks on editing my supplementary. And by editing, I made sure I checked it over multiple times at different time points. And I made sure I got it checked by a lot of other friends and um, my fellow health size and other individuals individuals so that I was for sure not going to regret whatever the decision was at the end. So please, please take your time with writing and editing your supplementary answers. And if you have any questions about the supplementary application, the program, or if you want to know more about my experience, please, please email me at hsi.channel at gmail.com. I would be happy to look over your answers even and provide feedback. So send me an email anytime and I would love to help out in any way possible. Good luck, everyone.